Hello everyone, it's Air Force Proud 95. I'm going to be doing a quick tutorial video for you guys. I'm going to show you how you can create flight plans for use in Flight Simulator X without using an FMC and also without having to manually select every single waypoint using the default flight planner within FSX, like on the map interface. Don't use that, that's a waste of time. There's an easier way to do it, even if you're using the default GPS. So, uh, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use a website to help you create flight plans and that website is called simbrief.com this is one that I just happened to come across I used to use um, simroots which was it's also similar to this but I found that it, it crashed a lot more often so I searched for a different one and found simbrief and it's generally more reliable so I use this to help me create flights um, that I can then import into Flight Simulator X uh, even if you're using SIDs or STARS, Standard Instrument Departures and Arrivals. Um, and by the way, I'm not going to be explaining what those are in this tutorial. I'm assuming you know what a SID or a STAR is uh, for this video. Now, what we're going to do, the first thing, you need to make sure that you have updated NAVAIDs. Also, I'm assuming you have NAVAIDs updated. If not, search FSX NAVAIDs on Google, and you'll, it'll bring you to this arrow.sors.fr website. Install that package, and you have all your waypoints up to date will be installed into your flight sim. Now, I'm going to get into actually how I create a flight plan using simbrief.com if I'm going to be doing a flight using the default GPS. So, uh, there's two different type of flight plans really that you can use this website for. The first one is if you're going to be using a flight plan such as this here on FlightAware uh, between two generally smaller airports that do not use any SIDs or STARS. So for example, you see our flight plan route down here. We do not have any uh, SIDs or STARS, any RNAV procedures. You have a couple waypoints, a couple VORs, and then some airways. Now the thing is, even if you're going to try to fl uh, file this plan, this flight plan, without using this uh, simbrief.com website, you would have to manually, and also without using FMC, you'd have to manually manually select uh, first of all find like locate this waypoint and then click and drag and select it you have to uh, select every single waypoint that's on these certain airways and then the VORs and it's a complete waste of time so for example what we do is we have all our information for this flight right over here on the right side we'll go to our simbrief.com page and I'll actually start from the beginning of simbrief and uh, you do have to create an account for the website, but it's free and it takes like a minute. So once you have an account, you go under Dispatch, Dispatch System, click on Create New Flight, and this is where you put in all your information. So for example, on that flight we're looking at, we're going to be Option Flight, it was like 307, or 337. And we'll say we're departing, I think it was Morristown, and arriving at some other small airport. And it'll automatically generate an alternate for you. Sometimes that alternate can be weird, so a double check on that. Um, it has a whole bunch of airframes. If you're flying a unique aircraft, like I'm flying an Embraer Phenom in this flight, just select something similar. Um, you have optional entries, time and route. So this flight, we'll just take a look. This flight would be 41 minutes. So we'll say, go ahead and select 0 hours, 41 minutes. Altitude, I just saw it's flight level 180. And then I don't bother with runways and passengers and cargo. It's not necessary. So down here in your route, when you load it up, generally it'll be uh, it'll just be empty on a flight like this because no one has previously entered this flight plan. So we look here, and we're flying Biggie with Biggie Waypoint to J75 Airway MXV VOR onto the Victor 378 Airway, and then to the Baltimore VOR. So we'll copy and paste that. Come back over to your sim brief paste it in there and then click on analyze route and boom it has automatically plotted every single waypoint that you're going to be flying on this route including your airways so ones that aren't actually named here like biggie is named so that's the first one that you see here but j75 is all of these airways that you see here in between and it automatically plots those so you can uh, download it into a flight plan format so you go back up to the top click a generate flight plan click ok and then it'll take about 10-15 seconds. It's uh, loading your flight plan package into a .pln format that can be directly loaded into Flight Sim. So I'll be showing you that in a second. 
Okay, so we just reached 100%, and now we have a, it loads a general briefing of all the information we just entered for our flight plan. Make sure, though, that you change it from Airbus Extended to whatever format you're looking for. For our case, it will be FSX, and then you click Download FMS, or Download Flight Plan, and then it'll download, if you check your folder, into, I have a duplicate, into a .pln format which can be directly loaded into flight sim once you're on the flight plan page or the flight planner page you click load and then you just click you browse for your file select the file and click open and it'll load up now i'm going to move on to the second type of flight plan that this method can be used for but that is a lot more complicated and it's where an fmc really is a lot more uh, efficient and reliable so for example we'll go back to um, just the sim brief homepage as if we're gonna start over we have another flight here this is a JetBlue flight from JFK to Washington Dulles which are two major international airports if you look at our flight route um, we're going to be flying the hyper 5 arrival which is a star so this is where this method becomes more complicated if we um, we'll go back to sim brief and start a new flight plan under dispatch dispatch system and create a new flight we'll throw in our information here real quick will it be JetBlue 1307 from JFK to Dulles it'll generate an alternate and like for example Raleigh North Carolina that's a weird one that's like farther away than our actual flight so we'll say Philadelphia select your airframe will be an Ember 190 um, optional entries here I won't even bother with that so you go down to your route and we'll clear that and we go back to our flight plan page copy our flight plan route and paste it down here in this section now when I click analyze route it'll say hyper 5 is not found this is because even though as when I talked about earlier I have my navage updated for FSX you need to have your navage individ independently I would say updated for simbrief.com and I do not do that because it costs money but you can if you want to you could go to this website navigraph click on go to products um, FMS data and then there's a little click here thing click there and then you have a whole list of for example if you wanted to update your data for your captain sim FMC you can do that scroll down there's a section for sim brief and instead of downloading it just says access and then you have an option of checking out a certain ARAC cycle subscription so if you just wanted to update it to cycle 1502 which is what's current you would click checkout and it's a 4.72 euro I think that's what, is it, what it is there but uh, that's basically how it works I don't do that because there's an easier way around it that doesn't require it's not as reliable it's not 100 percent but it doesn't require you going through this whole checkout process and that's if, if you go up here to your route you can just kind of play around it with play around with it for a second for example if we change it from hyper 5 which is the name of the arrival in the current cycle change it to hyper 4 and click analyze route and boom there you go it automatically plots all the waypoints because since I'm as you see right here your route is valid for ARAC 1303 I haven't updated my ARAC cycle for simbrief.com so I'm still it's still showing me as ARAC 1303 that's why hyper 4 was current at that time that's why it is identified it here but from just my pride my past experience and my you know from using this website so much I have never noticed a difference between for example the hyper 4 and the hyper 5 pretty much all these waypoints are going to be the same and again it's not a hundred percent it's not a hundred percent reliable but they're pretty much going to be the same if not very similar maybe a waypoint or two different so um, that's ju this is generally what I would do and then you go back up top same thing we just did before generate the flight plan but it's not that simple if you're doing um, if you're going to be flying a sit or a star. For example, we have the Hyper Five arrival, and as we're loading our flight plan, we don't know whether or not that is an RNAV arrival, whether or not it is runway dependent. So for this, we have to check the chart. So I have it here. Now you see, and the flight plan that we generated, it automatically selected, uh, it found the Hyper Four but it plotted us directly to the Tycon as our last waypoint, Tycon waypoint um, en route to Washington Dulles. You see on the chart, Tycon is right down here. It's assuming that we're landing from the south. So say if we're actually going to be landing from the north, we would have to change that. So an easy way to do that would be to once you load this into your flight simulator 
uh, once it's loaded up on the like the map page where you, it gives you like a visual just click and drag and change it around you you'll have to identify it like manually but at this point everything is so close to each other it won't be that difficult so you have to make sure you do that or if you don't do that you can just load up your flight and then make sure that once you arrive at Muller waypoint then you proceed direct just go to uh, on your, in your GPS proceed direct to Cover and then direct to the Hooser waypoint and also uh, you have to make sure that you're this for example you have to make sure you're at 5,000 feet at this point so that's where flying default GPS method on an Arna or on a Sidera star especially if it's RNAV and runway dependent gets a lot more complicated than if you were just using FMC I've been doing it this way for so long that I'm accustomed to having to manually make sure that I'm at a thousand ten thousand feet and 250 knots at this waypoint for example and that if tower gives me you know if, if I filed for you know if I uh, planned my flight as if I was gonna be landing from the south and I already have Tycon in my GPS system that I would just clear that and go direct to Cover waypoint and then direct to Hoosier and then be on the arrival so um, it's it's not the simplest method but it is a method that works if you don't have an FMC or you don't know how to use an FMC so um, this is one way to do it so uh, that's the basics of it using the website called simbrief.com to help you create a flight plan uh, I hope this answered the question for those of you that were wondering how you can create a flight plan without an FMC and without having to go through that process of individually picking out every waypoint in the FSX system. So uh, this is the way that I use. So uh, that's it for this tutorial video. Thank you guys for watching. This is Air Force Prod 95, and I will see you next time.